thank you very much. I'm so glad to be here in Nashville. Actually, I'm glad to be back in the country. I just finished performing uh, in Africa, which was fun. E East Africa, to be exact, a little small town called um, Detroit. So. <laughs> I love Detroit. I got hit by a car there, so I was able to make a little extra money on the side. Because as soon as I got hit, I saw it roll on the ground, holding my neck, screaming like my mama told me. I can't see. Is my Lexus okay? The guy that hit me looked down. You don't have a Lexus. I looked up. I do now. Because I need money. I have bill collectors after me as I speak. I got so many bill collectors after me, when they come to my house, they carpool. <laughs> I hate bill collectors always calling me up trying to get their money back. I'm like, hey, man, let's remember, you pre-approved me. <laughs> I knew I didn't have any money. They always call to my house, am I speaking to Anthony Griffith? He's not in. When you expect him back, as soon as you hang up. <laughs> and their latest technique, they like to leave messages on your answer machine like they're your friend. I check my machine, I hear, Griff, what's up? Give a brother a call, man, I'm trying to hook up with you. I'm at 1-800. <laughs> and I'm born and raised from Chicago. I love Chicago. Except New Year's Eve, because Chicagoans like to bring in the New Year by shooting their guns off in each other's houses. <laughs> I was on my grandmother's house one year for New Year's Eve. I counted 20 bullet holes in her window. Ten from my grandmother shooting back. <laughs> I see behind that station wagon. Come on down and celebrate. Come on. <laughs> my grandmother will cap you in a minute. And she's retired now, so that's all she lives for. <laughs> and our eyesight has gotten bad over the years, so she always thinks someone's trying to break in the house every five minutes. I see a shadow, put the gun down. <laughs> but I see a shadow, baby. I know you do, you got cataracts. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget. Well, cataracts and no cataracts, you still gotta protect yourself. Like my late husband always said. Um, <laughs> what do he always say? <laughs> well, whatever it was, he always said it. <laughs> I miss him. We did everything together. We was married for, uh, let's see, uh, Lincoln freed the slaves in 1864. <laughs> Uncle Cephas met his second cousin in 1912. Chubby Checker came out with a twist and said, we was married for two years. <laughs> That's the only way my grandmother can remember anything. She always has to start with the emancipation of the slaves. <laughs> it could be simple things like going to the grocery store. Grandma, you need anything at the grocery store? Do I need anything? Do I need anything? Um, uh, let me see. Uh, Lincoln freed the slave. 1864. <laughs> Chubby Checker came out with a twist. I went to the grocery store on Wednesday. No, I'm good. 